because I love challenges because they, uh, they always motivate me to do better. Okay, so the gumdrop challenge was kind of a strategizing activity for us to do when you had to have 20 toothpicks and 20 gumdrops and we had to work with partners to build our, build our tower. And the thing that we learned about this was we had to communicate with each other and strategize how we were going to build a tower that was sturdy and tall enough. One of, one of you guys started smashing them together because look, look at this, they're longer now, longer compared to the other ones. See, look, this one's taller than the original. Oh. And then we can stretch it out even more. We, yeah. We um, smush them together to make them looser and softer. So, and then we could stretch them out and apart, so then we could stretch it out, use all the gumdrops. Because we had gumdrops left over after we were done. So we, had, we stretched them out and wrapped them around so then it would be more support. Because without support, it would completely fall over. I can put, I can hold something up and that's supporting it. And I could put a whole bunch of gumdrops all the way up to the top using just one thing in the center of each one. And when I let it go, it's just going to go, well, all over. We also learned how to work together, how to use our materials wisely. It's kind of like, I don't know, construction working is the best example I can say. You can work together in construction working. And also how we did on the towers, we kind of made it like a little house, a square base with a triangle top, kind of like a house. Why did you choose a square base? Well, the tripod the first time was kind of leaning and kind of riggedy. We knew it wasn't going to work this time because we had more materials. We thought it could have a better foundation. That's why we went with the cube. You have to you have to learn how to communicate with other people so you can get a project done you and you can do it right. Work, you also gotta learn to stay how to work sync, together, how to um, talk to one another, and not to worry about forcing them, and making them think. You're just gonna do this, without you and you have to ha and you have to have a part in the project. Like I was the fixer. And we also learned he how to work together. He was the builder, and me and him were the brains. Oh, like we built it like this because that was the only way we could keep it together and that's how we could keep it stand really this project was really fun just we saying. were really good I'm that fixer, so I know I, I have to do that.